Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us on the Sunday morning worship service. Oh, hallelujah. Aren't we so blessed? Hallelujah. Rejoice. Oh, my goodness. Gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. And it's all Holy Spirit living through us. Amen. So before we even get started, just take a breath. Hallelujah. Just take a deep breath with me. Father God, we breathe you in. Oh, we worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. And Heavenly Father, and in the anointing of your Holy Spirit, we just thank you, Father God. And Father, as, as you just asked for us to pray right now, that's what we're doing. We're just going to go boldly to your throne. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise, for you are perfect, and you are the Word of God, the only Son of God, God's perfect sacrifice, his perfect lamb. Your name is Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord and my Savior, and I thank you so much, Lord Jesus, that you own us for all of eternity, that we are covered by your blood, that Open Arms Community Church, Father, is your church, paid in full through your perfect sacrifice, Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, we know that as we lift up your name in every breath, Father God, we just lift you up. We bless you, Father. We say thank you for Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, we know, we know that you are every breath, that you live within us, in all of your beloved children, all your children, Father God, who has submitted their life over to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you so much, Holy Spirit, that through this anointing, that, Father, you speak your word. Speak to us, Father. Speak to us. And demonstrate your word, Father God, through your power and your anointing, through our Holy Spirit who lives in us for all of eternity. Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. We thank you so much for blessing us with just another moment, Father God, to worship you. And above all, we're thankful, Father God, that we are eternally yours. We thank you, Father God, for who you are. You are good. You are perfect. And we just thank you so much that you are a father that loves us. And we just cry out to you, Abba, Daddy, Father, Father, help us. Bless us, Father God. Thank you so much, Father God, for a fresh anointing. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Mm, praise God. Give an angel a high five. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And of course, I'll just give myself a high five. But um, even though the building, as you know, is empty, and, and, and it's, it's just incredible. I, I would have never imagined anything like this. But the glory of Lord Jesus Christ is, is that we are one body in him. Amen. We are one body in Lord Jesus Christ. We are sealed by his spirit. Holy Spirit lives in us. I know, listen, family, we hear it every moment. Whether it's Pastor John preaching, I'm preaching, it doesn't matter. All we do is we're the mouthpiece, hallelujah, of the Holy One. Lord Jesus Christ blessed us with the anointing of Holy Spirit. Amen. You have Lord Jesus Christ, God will speak through you. Can I get an amen? Oh, hallelujah. And I don't want to jump ahead with the anointing of what Holy Spirit has for us, but it's just, it's amazing, you know, and by the grace of God, you know, Holy Spirit blesses, uh, as you know, it's just, it's just one of those no dust statements, but he blesses you with such peace, for that's who he is, is God's grace, Holy Spirit. And, you know, you look around, and, and I could see our beloved church family, amen, I, you know, as if you're sitting in here, and praise God, once again, we're one in Christ, and I'm just so grateful. Our worship service this, this morning is a message for pastor, amen, a message for pastor. And I'm still reeling, I'm once again, say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's our teacher, amen. And I'm still reeling off of this, I'm just in, in awe, praise God. If uh, you weren't with us last night, Saturday night worship service, we, have a, we had a message that, do you hear what I hear? And uh, I honestly thought that message was going to be for this morning. And of course, Holy Spirit said, no son, that's for tonight, because I want to I talk about the 40 days of the torment, of the torture. And that was significant, right? Because there's many of you that I, I haven't seen in that long. And I miss you guys. And I just need you to know, praise God. And I, I, like I said, I know that we're one. And uh, I'm so thankful that this brand new season is here and now. 
Amen. We're all, we all stand in agreement. Hallelujah. That the anointing of Holy Spirit shining through us. Ha, hallelujah. Say it with me. Agape. Amen. And glory to God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit wants to be praised. Can I get an amen? And that's exactly what Holy Spirit wants us to do this morning to bless them. Praise God, ushering in this new season. Remember, say with me, the old is dead and gone. Amen. Yesterday is dead and gone. Amen. All we have is right now. Can I get an amen? All we have is right now. And why not make it the best? Amen. And the only way I know how, bless the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank him. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Thank you, Father. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be in these books, and I'm just going to mention it real quick. John 12, 4, 4. We're going, to, we're going to open with that, but we're going to break away from it because the big foundational piece of what Holy Spirit wants to, to teach on, remember, say it with me. I rebuke you, Joey. I receive you, Holy Spirit. Say it with me. I worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me, Father God, bless me. Bless me, O oh Father. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo, I feel that in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to go into John 12, 44 real quick, and then we're going to go into Luke. And the gospel of Luke is really what's going to set what Holy Spirit showed me this morning, last night. It's really going to set as far as what God wants to teach us. Then we're going to go back into John 12. And we're going to pick up at 45 through 50. Right after that, we're going to go into the Gospel of Matthew in 1020. And then we're going to go into the book of Acts to do a reflection. And remember, in this reflection, it's all about exposing, amen, through agape, exposing the enemy and how he lied, stole, killed, destroyed, all the garbage, right? And to bring glory, say it with me, glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Say amen with me. Praise God. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. Listen, it's a glorious Sunday. This is a Sunday like never before. Amen. Let's just give God praise for what he's already done did. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Come on. Everybody at home, just, just thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God with your voice, with your heart. Let's just thank him right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God, that you love us. Thank you, Father God, that you created us. Thank you, Father God. Above all, Father God, that you saved us through Christ our Lord. Thank you, Father God, for who you are. You are God Almighty. You're a good and perfect Father. Thank you so much, Father God, for just looking at Lord Jesus Christ and saying, it's time for you to save them. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you came to this world and that you conquered it. You conquered it. And I thank you so much, Lord Jesus Christ, that you would die for me. Hallelujah. That you died for me. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you took everything, hallelujah, to the pit of hell that does not belong. And I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that it's in your body. It's only in you and through you that, Holy Spirit, you resurrected me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you live in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you know me by name. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you go before me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that your presence is in me. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that it's because of you that nothing, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And I thank you, Father God, that I'm eternally covered by your blood. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Praise God. Oh, my goodness. I love you guys and miss you all so, so much. Hallelujah. It's a new season, beloved church family. Amen. It's a new season. You're going, to be, you're going to be seeing, witnessing, partaking, being a part of all the miracles and blessings of the gooder and gooder in Jesus' name before this trumpet goes off. Amen? Oh, I pray in Jesus' name that souls, hallelujah, you can't even count them. Amen? You can't even count them. All these souls are just saying, Father, forgive me. Lord Jesus, I need you. Father, help me. Hallelujah. I pray that this is true in Jesus' name because you know it's the truth that there are souls right now that scales are coming off their eyes. And I thank God once again for this anointing that Lord Jesus Christ bless us with. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get right into it. Remember, the message is for pastor. Amen. A message for pastor. Praise God. Then Jesus cried out, whoever believes in me. Now remember, when, when Lord Jesus Christ cries out this way, you got to really understand as far as the magnitude of how agape, amen, agape himself is crying out. Now, when the word of God says that Lord Jesus Christ cried out, 
there's such magnitude there that it echoes throughout all of eternity how God himself would cry out through the perfect one. His name is, say it with me, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Say this with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. I pray that there's somebody that you've been running or maybe you don't know that you heard that and you said it with me, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah, give God praise, amen? So whoever believes in me, when you believe in Lord Jesus Christ, say this word that I put up there. Maybe some of you didn't see it. Say it with me. Praising. Amen? Praising. When you believe in blank, when you believe in blank, when you believe in it, guess what? It's praising it. It's praising it, right? When you believe in it, right? When you believe in a certain hobby, when you believe in a certain sport, right? When you believe in a, in a video game, when you believe in, in your favorite meal, what do you do? You're praising it. You're praising it. You've opened yourself up. Amen. You've opened yourself up to whatever that blank may be. Right? Because you believe in it, so you're, pra you're open to it. Can I get an amen? You're open to it. Right? I, I don't believe in that. What, what about that? When you, when you say, uh, I don't believe in that. You closed off, right? You, you, you closed it off, right? You denied it. Right? You denied it. But when you believe in it, hallelujah, say this word with me, praising. Amen? Praising. Amen? And this is what Lord Jesus Christ is saying. Whoever is praising me, whoever is blessing me, whoever believes in me does not believe in me only. Woo! Out of the mouth of God, out of the mouth of Agape himself, say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. Here is God saying clearly, That you're saying you believe in me, that you're praising me. But whoever believes in me does not believe in me only. See, right now, this, this, this word from God, this word, that Holy Spirit, this anointing, this light that's shining, right now, God has shown me. Some of y'all can't, can't receive it. And this is between you and God now. I don't mean... You know, you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not trying to hurt you, but I'm telling you right now, this is the written word of God, and Holy Spirit's teaching this message, and it's between you and God to get religion out. Amen? Do that with me. Just grab and throw out. Amen? Because God knows what you're doing. I don't want it. Amen? Father, change me. Rebuke my pride. Amen? I don't want to be a Pharisee or Sadducee. I don't care. I don't care about memorizing scripture. Right? I want a relationship with you, Father. That you know me by name and that you could live through me in any capacity, right? In anything that you need done, Father God, that you can flow through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's in this anointing, say that with me, anointing. It's in this anointing that Holy Spirit loves to flow through. But what, what concerns God is that when we get grounded in religion, that when we hear the written word from the Holy Bible, but above that, say that with me, above that, Holy Spirit speaking to you in your heart, trying to renew your mind. And what concerns God is that you don't want that and you just want to stick with what? I just believe this way because I do. Right now, God is asking for us to clear out our thoughts. Amen? Amen? Listen, may I pause real quick? Because Holy Spirit gave me permission and I don't know how this is going to go, but he gave me permission to just say this. Many of you who do know me, I love having fun. I, 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 I'm, I'm just, by the grace of God, I'm just always like, I, I love having fun, laughing, cutting up, right? I do. And I hear a lot of people say, why are the messages so hard? And I tell you, I'm only human, and I'm being obedient to what Holy Spirit tells me to preach but I need you to know whoever you is I need you to know snap out of always wanting to hear what you want to hear and get grounded in the written word of God and be open to what Holy Spirit 
is telling you. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? I need your help. Open Arms Community Church, I need, I need your help. I, I need prayer. Because as much as I want to preach to you and tell you, oh, you know, God is good and, you know, you just keep on taking your vitamins and what? No. Yes, God is good. Lord Jesus Christ came and saved us. And now we have the anointing of Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is the one that's going to be flowing because guess what? He's our seal for all of eternity. Amen? And I would rather be this brother of yours, this pastor of yours, that tells you the truth from the written word of God and for you to just be upset with me and want nothing to do with me, cuss me. I've had all of it, all above. And for Holy Spirit to minister to you and for that glorious day to come and for you to know I'm just telling you the truth. Amen? There's only one truth and his name is Lord Jesus Christ there's only one and I tell you right now as, 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 as your beloved brother Jesus Christ is my Lord Holy Spirit is all I have and I'm just trying to consume myself in worship can I get an amen I'm just trying to consume myself you know with all this going on in this world what really really concerns me and for God, is that there's a lot of people that still haven't woke up. May I say this even got lazier. I talked to some people and they're not even worshiping. They tell me straight up, yeah, I, I need to get in my Bible. You haven't? Really? What are you waiting for? I mean, what are you waiting for? Once again, I don't know how this is going to come out. God give me permission to say. And you know it's very rare. I take, I take a moment just to tell you. Families, what are we waiting for? For crying out loud, in many cases, work stop. Children are at home. You can't go to church. And I'm still talking to, to Christians that say, oh, I really need to get into word, but I haven't. Oh, I really need to start by, I really need to start. What are you waiting for? I pray in Jesus' name that some of you right now are just like, oh my gosh. And glory to God, today could be the day of change, amen? Today can be the day of change. Because I'm going to tell you right now, no one wants it more than our God. No one wants it more than our God. He's just waiting for us to just, you know, let's stop playing games. I'm going to stop worshiping God from here, and I'm going to do it from here with all my heart. I'm not going to block you, God, from here. I'm going to allow you to flow, and you renew this. Amen? Say it with me. Renew my mind, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Renew my mind, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I plead your blood, Father. Thank you. So here, Lord Jesus Christ is saying, Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, but in the one who sent me. So if you say that you praise Lord Jesus Christ, he is saying if you truly believe in me, you're not just singling me out, but in the one who sent me. So now we're going to get into this. Praise God. You ready? Hallelujah. Say amen. Praise God. But in the one who sent me. Hey, don't get gooder than this because we're going to just go back. Praise God. Let's go into the one who sent Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I know it's not Christmas time, but guess what? We don't need a, we don't need a special day. We just need Holy Spirit. Amen. Say it with me. Holy Spirit, come. Fill me, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we go back to this, this point when the angel Gabriel was talking to Mary. And I love that. I love that picture right there. Because you could just see, you could just see. I just love it. You just see the pic, the, you just see what in awe that Mary was in, just being in the presence, in the presence of God. Amen. And here's Gabriel right there encouraging her. Hallelujah. But in the one who sent me. Say that with me. But in the one who sent me. Luke 1, verse 35 says this. The angel answered, This is what he told Mary. Holy Spirit will come on you. And 
the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Amen? So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. What's his name? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. It's all about you, Lord Jesus. Amen? Don't you love that? That the more intimate you get with God, your past doesn't matter. Amen? None of it matters. It only matters about Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's all that matters. Amen? And the beauty of that is that when you truly worship Lord Jesus that way, Holy Spirit lives abundantly through you, wanting to give God glory. Amen? Through this body. Hallelujah. How do you give God glory through this body? It's through the anointing of Holy Spirit in your heart. Amen? In your thanksgiving. Rejoice! Right? When you rejoice and you thank God for what he already done did. Amen? He done did it. Agape knees. He done did it. Right? It's already done did. Paid in full. Perfect. Right? The old is fulfilled. Now the new has come. And it's in this new anointing that God has given you and me through his Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit now lives in all of us. Amen? As his beloved church. Amen? And I love it when God shows me this word, and as, as, as I'm typing this out, God says, I want you to lay it out like this because I want to show this, and this is what God wants to show. Now, I know it's kind of hard probably to see on the overhead. It's going to come up on your screen. Praise God in the name of Jesus. And you'll be able to see Holy Spirit come on you and the power of the Most High. But it doesn't stop there because God said, I am one. Hallelujah. Say that with me. I am one. One. I am one. Hmm. Hallelujah. And the beauty of that is that you could even interchange those pictures and it lines up accordingly. Why? Because Father, Son, Holy Spirit, glory to God. Say it with me. Agape. Amen. Hallelujah. Agape. That's agape in you and agape in me. Hallelujah. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And of course, here is the Son, the Holy One. Praise God. But then what I love is that when you look at Agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and you look at the pictures that we just put up there, right? We show Father God and the power of the, the Father, amen? And how Holy Spirit's power, the anointing, will come upon Virgin Mary, amen? You look right there in, in those three, and you see the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see the gospel of peace, amen? Hallelujah. Say it with me. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Agape. Amen. And when, you, when you're praising agape this way, oh my goodness, it gets gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. This is very important now. Very important. Because, see, God has chose every one of us. Amen. He has. God's predestined every soul to go to heaven. It's a choice to be disobedient and say, I don't want. That's the power of God's grace, his mercy. That's why Lord Jesus Christ come, amen? Not to judge the world, but to save us. And he did. He saved everybody. But he leaves it up to the soul to say, I want you, Father. Hallelujah. Do that with me. Daddy. It's nothing like it, Amen. I'm so thankful to be surrounded by brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how old you are. Amen? You could be a little child, praise God. You could be 90, 100 years old, and the moment you do that, God will take you back to that time. Amen? And this is what the angel said to Mary. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age. Now, why would the angel Gabriel, why would God speak to Mary this way? Let's just be real, right? Why would God... And see, this, there's a point here. There's many points, obviously, the Holy Spirit wants to bring. And the, the one right now that is echoing is the importance of fellowship. Amen? Say that with me, the importance of fellowship. See, the importance of fellowship... Now, we know Elizabeth is related, but the importance of fellowship, the importance, especially, glory to God, we're in this new season. All this is dead and gone. We're going to come back into worship under the same roof, hallelujah, agape, overflowing, loving your neighbor, hugging each other, amen, oh, I cannot wait, I miss you guys so much, 
We're so blessed with such a loving church, amen, and I'm just so thankful because it's all his presence, it's all Holy Spirit. We just want to bless God, amen? And the importance of, of fellowship is this. God says the reason why it's important is so that I can show you blessings on your brothers and sisters that will bring encouragement to you to bless me. Can I, can I repeat that? I know it's a mouthful. But the importance of fellowship is for you to come together as one body. We are the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So that brothers and sisters can share and show the anointing, the blessing, the overflow, the blessings. And what does God do through that? Through rejoicing? Rejoice! Hallelujah! Is that when we lift each other up, Holy Spirit, His presence flows mightily. Amen? And this is what Gabriel is doing through Holy Spirit. He's like, listen... Right? Listen, Linda. <laughs> Amen. Oh my goodness, I love that clip. Listen, Linda. He's like, listen. <laughs> Elizabeth is going to have a child in her old age. And isn't it funny? Because here's Mary going, what did you say? Right? Did she know? Is it a reminder? Right? Regardless how you know God spoke and right away, Mary was like, oh my goodness. You know what? Because there was a lot of people that said that she couldn't. You know what? Elizabeth told me that they've been trying for years and years, right? Right? Listen, it's all glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Come on now, family. Lift up his name. Say, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And through his anointing, all because of Lord Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Praise God. In the name of Jesus, countless, countless sisters in Christ that God said, speak that word. They want a baby, speak that word, lay hands on them, speak it, thank me for it, watch it. Countless. And it's all glorifying Lord Jesus Christ. Now remember, we're just the temple of Holy Spirit. God wants to flow his blessings, right, through you. Amen. Say it with me, anointing. Hallelujah. So let me ask you something. In all these countless sisters of ours, right, in Christ, all these countless sisters of ours in Christ, what happened if they chose not to come into fellowship? I don't know, but I'm just telling you right now. I know what God told me to do. All, all these sisters of ours know what took place. Amen? They got, they got babies. Some of them are all grown already. Right? But the importance of fellowship, the importance of coming together as a body. Listen, I know, praise God, this season's dead in God in Jesus' name. Amen? And glory to God, this new season God has for us. Woo! Get ready. Get ready. Pastor John spoke it out. Get ready. Holy Spirit done said it. You want to witness a powerful anointing? Hallelujah. And he will because this is his holy church. Amen. Open Arms Community Church. Amen. And we have brothers and sisters in other churches. Amen. Across all denominations. Hallelujah. As long as you have Jesus Christ as Lord. And you worship Lord Jesus Christ through the anointing of the Holy Spirit in you and in me. Amen. It's a powerful word now, worship. Hallelujah. Is Lord Jesus Christ worthy? Amen. Some of you just started crying. Is he worthy? And the glory of God is through you, is that when you say yes through repentance, through sacrifice, you know, just laying everything down, his Holy Spirit fruit will flow through you. Amen? So Gabriel is just encouraging her, talking about Elizabeth. And check this out. She who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month. So once again, the word just confirms as far as everything that she was struggling, but look, it's supernatural. And this is what she's going through. Amen? Amen? And then here it is, this is a very, very popular one that men, many like to uh, memorize, to keep on speaking, and glory to God through agape. Say it with me. <laughs> agape, hallelujah. Rejoice. God is going to show as far as what this means, hallelujah. For no word from God will ever fail, meaning no word from God will ever return empty, will ever return void, right? No word of God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. Now, praise God. I know yesterday is dead and gone. When you get an opportunity, Holy Spirit leads you. 
Listen to last night's worship service. Do you hear what I hear? And what David said to Saul. Right? Your servant. But it wasn't to man. It was to God Almighty. Hallelujah. God knows your heart. God knows my heart. Amen. God knows. Say it with me. Everything. Amen. And here's what Mary said. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Your word. Amen. Say it with me. My word. Hallelujah. Now let's get gooder and gooder. Say it with me. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So but in. But in the one who sent me. But in the one who sent me. Lord Jesus Christ said. Agape said. You say you believe in me. But don't. You do not believe in just only me. Right? Amen? God himself is saying, you need to get this right. Come on, beloved church family. Let's get this right. Amen? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And this is what took place in the anointing. Say that with me. Anointing of this relationship Mary had at this just moment in eternity when she's talking to an angel. And you could hear God's encouraging words to her, right? And then she's like, okay, well, go into it. Go into the chapter, study it. And as you study, as you worship Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit will show you layers upon layers. Because guess what? We're limited to this three dimensions. Amen? Let's not limit God to the three dimensions. Hallelujah. God's beyond that. But you can get there. You could, you could get there and... and and Holy Spirit will just show you in, in, in how she was just overwhelmed by the presence of God through Gabriel. And how this, how this angel, how Gabriel would just encourage her and love her. And say, listen, I, I could see, because God knows everything. I could see what's going on in you. I could see what's going on in here. You know, I'm about to get, I'm about to, I'm about to get married. I'm about to, I haven't. I'm a virgin, right? How, how in the world, right? The angel could see all this. And he starts speaking encouragement to build up, praise God, her faith. And I love how God built up her faith. Because remember, who is the faith? All capital letters. Who is the faith? The one and only faith. You nailed it. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. He is the faith. See, the enemy wants you to have all lowercase faith and, mm, mm, right? Like a dog chasing his tail, just, mm. But what the enemy hates, what the enemy just, mm, what the enemy cannot stand. I know the same thing as hate, but I mean, what the enemy is afraid of, that run, he runs away from it, is when you call and trust on the faith. Amen? Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. And this is what happened in this moment, in this relationship with Mary. She finally said, be unto me according to the word. Now what happens when she just made that affirmation, when she just declared it, that I am the Lord's servant. Amen. I am the Lord's servant. Be unto me according to thy word. Right? May the word that you speak, God Almighty, Father God, May the word that you speak that has sealed my salvation be fulfilled in me and through me. Amen. Can we say that together as a church body before we move forward? Amen. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands with me. Praise God. Holy Spirit just told me to slow down so you could repeat it. So I'm going to do that. Father God, according to thy word, Lord Jesus Christ, you are my salvation. Holy Spirit, may your power through your word be fulfilled through me. In Jesus' name. All God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Give God praise. Praise God. What took place is true repentance. Amen? Amen? Repentance. Say that with me. Repentance. Say it with me. Repent. Right? Repent is, okay, 
I'm done. I'm changing my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe in agape. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. I believe in you, Father. I believe, and the only way I can believe in you, Father, is that you sent your perfect Son, Lord Jesus Christ. The only way I can believe in you, Lord Jesus Christ, is I believe, Holy Spirit, you're in me for all of eternity. You, you're in me. You sealed me. You know me by name. And I believe in you, Holy Spirit, that I will listen and I will live my life according to thy word. Hallelujah. Who is the word of God? <laughs> Glory to God. You nailed it. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I love how Holy Spirit says you nailed it. We are. We are the nails that nailed him to the cross. Amen. So when you repent, of course, get ready. Life-changing revelation. Amen. No word from God will ever fail. Hallelujah. Say that with me. No word from God will ever fail. And the pictures that you just see moving on the screen behind me, and you'll see it up on your screen, praise God, is the word of God. In the beginning was the word. John 1 said, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is God, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And how that word never fails is that in those three days, amen, three days, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In the three days, hallelujah, God saved all the souls in the three days. And what took place after that third day? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Resurrection power. Amen. Resurrection power. And that's why no word from God will ever fail. Hallelujah. See, Lord Jesus Christ is the seed. Amen. The seed that left heaven. And that seed glory to God, had to go into the earth, into hell. Amen? And glory to God, Holy Spirit resurrected that seed. Amen? And now that seed produces fruit. That's you and that's me. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. In John 12, 45, 46 says this, The one who looks at me is seeing the one who sent me. I have come into the world, remember, we just said it, into the world. Amen? Into the world. Praise God. Say that with me. Into the world. Yes, Lord Jesus Christ took on his body all of the sins, all of the sins on his body. Amen? And took it into the world as a light so that the one, say with me, so that no one... So that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. So the one that believes in Lord Jesus Christ, the one that believes in Lord Jesus Christ, okay, Lord Jesus says, cried out, right? You say you believe in me, but you do not only believe in me, right? You believe in agape, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen? And then he continues to back this up, praise God, that as a light, no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. Bottom line, bottom line, when you have agape flowing through you, and this is the promise of Lord Jesus Christ, that when you have this life-changing revelation of who God is, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen, and that he lives in you and through you, God says, does God lie? No. Amen? Rebuke all that. God cannot lie. And here God is saying that if you believe in agape, Lord Jesus is speaking this, no one, no one will stay in darkness. Hallelujah. You know why? The darkness cannot contain the light. Amen? If anyone hears my words, but does not keep them. I do not judge that person. How sweet is Lord Jesus Christ. I do not judge that person. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. Amen. Beloved church family, Christians, listen. We are not the judge. Can I get an amen and a hallelujah? Amen, hallelujah. We are not the judge. Amen. We are here to show everybody 
everybody that there's a God who loves them. If they say, well, how do you know that? Lord Jesus Christ died for you. Can I lay hands on you and pray for you? Can I lay hands and pray for you for Holy Spirit to bless you? Amen? Holy Spirit will shine his light all over you. You have to know Lord Jesus. You have to receive him. Amen? I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. Hallelujah. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ says as a caution. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn them on the last day. And as you know, Lord Jesus Christ said, it's far important that I leave, far greater, because when I leave, I'm going to send you in my name. The Father will send you in my name. Say his name, Lord Jesus Christ. In his name, we will send you an advocate, comforter, helper. Hallelujah. God. Amen. It only speaks what the Father God speaks. Hallelujah. So if he's speaking, Holy Spirit is speaking. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit is speaking to a beloved child of God. So if he is speaking and you choose not to hear the words, that means that you just, right, denied it. And this is what Lord Jesus Christ is cautioning the entire world that stands firm for all of eternity. That if you do not accept what Holy Spirit has to say, for I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me to say all that I have spoken. I know that his command leads to eternal life. So whatever I say is just what the Father has told me to say. Hallelujah. For it will not be you speaking. Come on, beloved church family. This is us now. For it will not be you speaking, but the Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Say with me, Holy Spirit, come. Thank you, Father. Say with me, Holy Spirit, speak. But the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Don't you love it? Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only. Whoever believes in Lord Jesus Christ, amen, say it with me, that's me, right? We believe in Lord Jesus Christ, and we also know what Lord Jesus Christ said when he was alive on this earth in, in this skin, right? When he was walking. Whoever believes in me does not believe in me only, amen? But in the one who sent me. And so Holy Spirit took us back in how God sent Holy Spirit upon Mary, right? And how Holy Spirit come upon Mary and the power of God overshadowed just the, the, the anointing. Say that with me, anointing, his presence. Blessed Mary, hallelujah. And praise God. That's how Lord Jesus Christ come, amen? And you see as far as what took place and how God says, listen, I am agape, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. What's amazing about this is Holy Spirit wanted to make this transition, say that with me, transition into the new covenant church. Hallelujah. Into the new covenant. Amen. And right there on your screen, you see the apostle Paul when he was Saul. Pastor John touched on this on Wednesday. Amen. And we're going to look over a couple of those, a couple of those verses real quick in Acts 9. But you notice the similarities as far as in just in this picture, Holy Spirit will give you life-changing revelation. He is our only teacher now. He is God Almighty. All the glory to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. All the glory is Father God's. Amen. We don't touch it. We want none of it. Can I get an amen? All the glory is to God. And you could just see as far as how Saul was blinded on that road to Damascus. And we're just going to read quickly. Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately something like scales fell from, from Saul's eyes and he could see again. He got up and was baptized. Baptized in the Holy Spirit. Amen. And after taking some food, he regained his strength. Glory to God. Glory to God. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Say that with me. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
Holy Spirit, just ask. You mean, if you mean it with all your heart, hallelujah, God knows your heart. But right now, right now, Holy Spirit asks for you to make this confession. Father God, forgive me. I plead your blood, Lord Jesus. And Lord Jesus Christ, I know I'm forgiven. But Father God, I surrender to Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill me. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Be filled with Holy Spirit. And I love how these two pictures, side by side, you can just see as far as the importance of being filled with Holy Spirit. And you could just see, I love that picture that come up. You'll see it on your screen. On that glorious day when we confess Jesus Christ as Lord, what Holy Spirit did in us. Amen? Listen, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like fellowshipping with the beloved child of God. You know, you know what I'm saying. Amen? I pray Open Arms Community Church is your home church that you're planted and rooted here. And you can see Holy Spirit fruit overflowing in your life. Gooder and gooder. Amen? Beyond what we can comprehend or understand. And glory to God, yes, it is a fight. When I say fight, it's to rebuke distractions and not allow darkness to come in. How do you stop darkness from coming in? Worshiping. Thanking God for Lord Jesus Christ. Choosing to rejoice. Amen. Choosing. It's a choice, church. Hallelujah. It's a choice. And when you choose this way, God says, my beloved child, my beloved son, my beloved daughter. Hallelujah. And Holy Spirit blesses you with a fresh anointing from heaven. Amen. And this is a message for pastor. Amen. And it doesn't just stop there as far as with what God said and how he titled this. Because a message for pastor means this. Praise God. Praising agape so that others repent. Amen, beloved church family. When you praise God for who he is, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, when you praise God for who he is and you're thankful, this is the way Holy Spirit wants to show his presence through your life. Amen. He wants to show your light. May I be so bold to say that wherever you and your beloved, because your house is covered by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, regardless if you have family that ain't acting right, if they're running away, I'm going to be so bold to say this in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, that Holy Spirit has already got a hold of them. And all God wants is for us to just speak blessings. Amen? To speak life. To rebuke. To rebuke the devourer. Amen? To rebuke the evil one. Hallelujah. How do you rebuke the evil one? I plead your blood, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I thank you, Father God, that you love me. I thank you, Father God, that I am eternally yours. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your anointing in me. I thank you, Father, that all I have to do is breathe. And I thank you for that breath, Father. I thank you for everyone, every breath, Father. And as I expel, Father God, I ask you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ that your anointing, your word, your light goes before me. Amen. That your word does not come back void, Father God. Be unto me. Beloved church family, say that. Be unto me according to thy word. Holy Spirit, bless me. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that this message bless you. I thank God that you joined us on this Sunday morning. Hallelujah. I miss you so much, church family. Praise God. I thank God for you all every day. Trisha and I, we lift you all up every day. Praise God. More than that, of course, I know you know. And hallelujah, we are covered by the blood. Amen. We are not going to hell. We were never separated from our Father God. Amen. Holy Spirit lives in us. We have the resurrection power within us. Hallelujah. We know that we will speak life. Amen. And we will guard and protect our God by not allowing any garbage to come in. Amen. I thank God that we choose to praise agape. Hallelujah. So that others repent. Amen. I thank God for everybody who is blessing God with an offering. Amen. 
Everybody knows this is God's money, hallelujah. And yes, this is, this is a time that, I'll tell you right now, it's a test. Amen? And remember, when you stay focused on Lord Jesus, on God's offering, say that with me, Father God's offering. His name is Lord Jesus Christ now. Amen? And did God hold anything back? No, that's how much he loves you. That's how much he loves me. Hallelujah. That's our identity. Amen. And glory to God. We have Holy Spirit and with a relationship with God. And God says, do not rob worship from me. And I said, Father, I will never rob worship. You have all the glory. Hallelujah. It has nothing to do with anything other than only Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so God says, just remind my church. Amen. That remember, through, 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 through any, any season, Let's give God, amen, with a cheerful heart. Hallelujah. What's cheerful? Amen. Be cheerful. Praise God. And let's just bless God. Let's bless God's socks off. Amen. I thank all of you, hallelujah, that are blessing God with, with your best. And I pray for you all that don't have anything. God knows your heart. And I thank God for this new season. Hallelujah. This new season. Amen. And uh, if you want to give electronically, which is convenient, and praise God for you, go to OAC church.com once again that's oacchurch.com and you can click there on the offering tab and you can click there and you can give any way that's convenient for you praise God we just love you so much thank God for you I thank God for the choices that you made the main one is to bless Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah and the only way we know how is to just worship and allow Holy Spirit to flow through us amen God bless you guys in the overflow. Hallelujah. God is the only one good, and it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Love you guys so much. I'll see you soon Tuesday night. I am recovered. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Love you so much. God bless.